inside Aiden's mind. Yo. Yeah. Hey, this looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Maybe Aiden. I can get in through the backyard. Aiden. Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. That's cool. At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture... Is that me? Wow, I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Phone's gotta be in here. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were gonna disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you weren't coming from the start? instead of getting his hopes up. Whatever, just, I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Okay. Wait, what the hell? What the hell is happening here? Is this still the house? <laughs> Lena? There's no way. I'm back where I started. I better pick a different path. <laughs> Lena? Lena!
shit now. You can't be Lena. My sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? This is spooky. Yeah. Count to ten and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just. Yes. Haunts him. This is spooky. Boss, I don't want to tell you, but boss, I don't want to tell you. It's a horror game. Horror game? What is this? What is this? के जो कि प्ले स्टेशन पर आया था और उसने जो होना था कि उसको बहुत से लोग मिल गया सौ आदमी लोगों की तरह क्या क्या बट आई पर्सनली प्ले दैट गेम दैट वॉज ओ पी डर लगता था उसको प्लेन में Again, stuck in a loop. Help me. Mom? Arden. Are you okay? This was the worst day of my life. And it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it. And I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No. But... Maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. Yep. I found Aiden's cap. your cap and you're leaving with me right now still need my coat fuck your coat fuck this this literal mind game 
You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go! I told you I need to finish this first. And what is this, exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. And I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. Oh, I didn't think. I know you won't let me down. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Where is this going to lead now? It looks like I'm going back to the house, but. Jesus, why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? I need to find another way around. I need to get up there. Okay. I think they should do. Won't work. I think that you do it. I think I've got it. Done. The hell am I walking into? Okay, I need to find Aiden's code. Just focus on that. Not bad. What the hell is happening here? I'm sure about that. Oh, 
Oh my god. My house looks like a fucking crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? What the hell? Jesus. Who the fuck are all these people? Fuck, I think they're all dead. Who? Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! Oh. What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or... Stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Aiden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. Okay. something from you and it's not this guy dead I need your coat help me I'm back this better work I have your coat Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skivvies, you know. Just for the occasion, as it were. So that's it. You're just giving up. I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I had blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all the rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Let's see if this guy has some help out here and then, oh wow. Bora Tech. Bora Tech, sorry. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! Ha! Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. All that I miss. Jackson, your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But... As our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. Thanks. For... 
You know. I know. Let's go talk to Jetson. Ah, uh, what a beautiful reunion. Gosh, I'm tearing up over here. You can't tell though because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Ranch. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. French, we're set up back at your hideout. So, where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned all his bridges with his business partners in London. So I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private barge docked at the Thames. On the books, he moves company cargo. Off the books, he smuggles in people, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um... Is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yeah, probably. He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rempart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. Rempart's barge just got clearance to exit the Thames. He's hit open waters. Fuck. How am I gonna catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. There was a boat captain that helped me smuggle into the city. Let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. I mean, hey, I look great in a Speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just tell me. What are you gonna do to him when you catch up to him? Kill him? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Is that what you really want, Reggie? Rampart's a scumbag, but you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? This is why you're running support, Pierce Senior. No backseat revenging! like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not, ex not exactly, but I do kind of look up to Aiden like he's my grumpy uncle, so, you know, we're still equals, but he's more like my second cousin brother, uncle father figure. Ah. Still compliqué. Bon, let's go. <laughs> 